we have gone to the government of Andhra Pradesh, we have told, okay, we have 600 plus engineering colleges available. In the 600 engineering colleges, excellent faculties are available in different, different colleges. When you take one college, you may not get ideal faculty. But when you look at different, different colleges, you have it. excellent faculties that are available, they are producing great results. We have to bring together. It is not that okay, everyone can attract best and better talent for their colleges. As a government, because you have allowed the institution, you have allowed the university to go and expand the institution. So we have to help differently. So what we told, we will connect all the 600 colleges, wherever the colleges are available. Okay, we will have a studio bi-directional video conferencing facilities with e-learning and with e-examination. We have proposed, they have given us seven districts. They said, okay, you, because the concept is good, but we would like to look at the result, how it is going to produce. They have given around eight months time. We have established the same model what we have sold, what we have shown them, and we have established seven different districts. Seven districts, seven colleges they have taken. And we have established this entire model. After six months, the results, we have taken the feedback from the college management, teachers, the faculty, and more importantly, the students. And given the results, government have allowed uh, institutions to go for a tender. Fortunately, luckily, we got the tender. We collect. Last year, we have provided the solution to more than 550 colleges. Nearly around 5 lakh students is accessing the solution, what I have found. I'd like to just give you a small clip is there. What we have done, we have converted entire engineering content into e-learning and established a studio and the video conference is across all colleges. E-content for the faculty as well as the students. Because the faculty, while they teach, they can utilize this material they can teach. Whatever students learn at the classroom, he can go and practice. While the faculty, apart from the lecture notes, while they teach, if they want some animation, some critical concept to be explained. He can draw this animation and explain the concept. At the same time, images may require to explain because he needs to spend time on uh, uh, drawing and all that. So he can draw the images and explain. So this is the entire uh, faculty module we have given so that uh, as per the syllabus of the universe, so that they can utilize in the classroom. After that end of the module, we have given a quiz so that uh, the student really understood Faculty can test even student also will know on their own. Everything they have loaded in the server. From the server, it will deploy to the students and faculty. Another advantage as a faculty, they can plan their session and inform to the students. They know that what, as a faculty, what is that they are going to take and they can practice. Other one, faculty, they own sessions they can upload and they can record the entire session because as a repository, it is going to be available. How we are going to deploy this content? We are going to deploy at the college server. Student, faculty can access at the classroom, and the student can access if they have the tab or uh, uh, smartphone. And other one is the college laboratory. And also, students will have unique user ID and password. They will access from anywhere, in front cafes or if they have their own computer. Another one, we have established HD conferencing studios. Here two universities, there is one in Hyderabad, another one in Kakinada, and also we have connected with all the colleges in that both the universities. Because a lecture, a, a faculty is uh, conducting at the university level, all the 500 colleges can view, and they can interact with the faculty also. It is not the faculty need to travel at the central studio. Because a college can become a central studio. When a college they have an excellent faculty, when he is going to teach, all different colleges also can attract. Another advantage here we have seen, see, industries has very limited uh, resource and every college wants industry person to come to college and uh, conduct some session. It is highly difficult. When you have this system is available in your college and university, you, because expert lectures from industry, HR heads or some social leaders can conduct their own sessions because they need not to travel from their places. Today the problem is logistics and the travel is the more important, the timing. We can send a link to that particular person wherever he is, wherever the, uh, across the globe, maybe from US you can invite, okay, 
3 o'clock, the person is going to deliver a lecture. You can send a link, 3 o'clock, he will connect to our central server from his location wherever he is, maybe an office or home. He can connect to our central server, he will teach the lecture, from the central server it will go to all colleges. This way we are avoiding the entire problem of uh, bringing them to one location and all that. Other important, all the lectures, whatever you have conducted in a current scenario, it is difficult because the resource is very, very costly. We are bringing them in a, because so many people have come forward, you are here last two days, you are deliberating a lot of issues. Because the entire session will be recorded, kept in the repository. A student wants to go through that topic, so he can access the topic any number of times. Because the learners are different. Somebody wants the reason, they will capture. But other people, they require two or three times. So this way, this technology intervention is going to help really in a big way for our students. As well as our college also. Because college need not to worry about Okay, I don't have an excellent faculty. They can borrow from other institutes. They can borrow from NIT, Thrive, wherever they are. And end of the day, what we are doing, enter this model with a free assessment. Every student will have a first is a assessment he will take so that he or she will know exactly where they are in a particular topic. After that, during the learning, minimum two to three interim assessment we provide to track their progress, because institution will know, university will know, and the personally I will know where I am, because more than anybody. Then end of the program, you will have a post assessment report, their main exam. So that, okay, what are the areas I am being, they can put more practice and learn that. So we have introduced this system last year, and a lot of challenges, because this is a change management, what we have done to popularize this model, we have conducted uh, FTV faculty development program, 30 colleges together, and conducted all, and we have given a faculty manual to them. We are going to conduct a lot of uh, uh, com competition among the students and the faculty with this system, so that no, we have popularized and branding them. Then a lot of sessions <coughs> from the eminent uh, personalities. We have actually spoken with several industries. Industry came forward to run their industry endorse certification program. Because after this system, we have explained to several industries. Two or three major industries have come forward, okay, we will run a certification program. Wherever the student interested, we will run from our office so that it will connect to your center studio and broadcast to all the colleges. They came forward, want to run a certificate program, end of the program, industry wants to give the certification. Because by the time they complete the graduation with two or three certification from the industry, definitely that product will sell a lot. And why is this important? Because as I mentioned my beginning of the presentation, because ten years before, very limited colleges, limited institutions, limited. But now the scale what we are talking is huge. The scale because the scale is very huge. We cannot change the entire system. Overnight cannot change, okay, the faculty is not good, we have to go in a big way, hire them, train them. It is not a overnight story. We have to have a consistent effort to improve. So in current scenario, to look at because our country biggest advantage and opportunity is our youth. When we mould our youth properly, definitely we can reach our target as a country what we are seeing. So for that we have to work together to popularize different models and develop our views. Because unless we develop a skill, we cannot develop our country. So building skills, building India. That is our mantra. Thank you.